I'm a sorceress, and a damn good one, too. Okay. Come closer, bask in my presence. I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching. Most impressive. Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? So Ron is going to hate this. But since I'm, I need the words of power to beat Mirak later, I'm going to have to do this now. Indeed. Speak with me when the box has been opened and all shall be revealed. Okay. What? Yes, I was talking to a mass of tentacles. Okay, you just teleported. <laughs> okay, let's go. Go. Shoot. Get out of here. Stop following me. Good, stay there. Stare at Heim... Stare, stare at... Heimsker's corpse. Uh. So, what's on your mind? Oh. Uh, not much. Sounds good. Okay. Dig, dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Is this? It's it's just a book. I can see the world beyond burns in my mind. It's marvelous. Okay. Come, my champion. Okay, what now? Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. What? Yes, I was talking to Hermaeus Mora. So, where are we 
we off to now? I'd rather not get into that with you, if that's all right. I'm sorry, it's not that. It's just that I don't know who I can trust just yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Okay. 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 And... Eh. You know you're standing on icebergs, right? On an ice floe? That guy is still staring at that body. Good. Stay there. I will see you later on in the playthrough. Such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. You are an elder gleam sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of a beauty in a Wonderful existence. And that tree, that's the elder gleam, isn't it? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why not? As you can see, Eldridge's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trap. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldridge herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. Oh, I don't believe those rumors, my friend. Besides, who would ever want to harm such beauty? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have nothing more to discuss. I encourage you to take your time and enjoy yourself. You look like you could use the rest. Do you need some? Wow, have you ever seen anything so amazing? Why are there more people here? Tours must be organized, paintings commissioned. As adventurers, it's our duty to show people this tree. Yeah, <laughs> that one or that one. Uh, I'll go with this one. I always pick uh, this yes, one. Yes, dispatch the couriers. Have the Jarls make a decree. To each and every citizen of this land, I say, open your eyes and behold its beauty. Of course. What do you think all this is? It's more valuable than any gold coin. Now, if I find the gold coin, I do find lots of that. Wait, that's only nine. That only adds up to nine. Oh, I forgot. One gold piece goes to spreading the bell's work. Can you believe the cost of ink and paper these days? One time, I didn't have any gold, so I carved my petition to change the name of Bloated Man's Grotto on the wall of the Jarl's longhouse. The guards were none too pleased. But really, Bloated Man? Why not call it Handsome Man's Grotto? Why, yes, I learned how to play the lute when I was little, although I'd much rather play the harp. I'm sure that's what the melody wants. Oh, really? What other skills do you possess? Come on, Pa fought for the Empire during the Great War. Although, I don't see what's so great about it. I'm sure it's over my head. They're the ones who taught me everything I know about battle, that is. It's not like they had to teach me about exploring. That I taught myself. Although, growing up in the Reach helped. First thing you learn is how to deal with heights. After that, dwarven ruins are a cinch. Really? Were you in Markarth during the Forsworn Rebellion? That happened before I was born. But I'm not a green thumb, honest. And five months past, the woman grew up. I've killed a bear, drank my first meat, and can pitch a tent if you need it. Huh. Huh. 
thought Marcos would explain the fascination with well, the Bella. things with the mace is pretty effective, and also pretty ugly, not pretty at all, actually. As a soldier of the Bella, I have a reputation to look for, the Bella's reputation. Beauty even in battle is very, very important, and I'll die with a sword in my hand before I live with the mace. The barracks have charm, but I want fresh air and blue skies and forests that are woollier than a map. Although I guess the barracks is kind of like a forest. There's a lot of wood and bugs and things. We used to call it termites reach. All right. I do not doubt we mortals make a beautiful part of it, but we see that beauty every day. I want to bring Debella's full portfolio to the world, and to do that we need to be more than adventurers. We must be couriers, gossipers, town criers, screaming from the bell towers while we shower the people with our missives. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will see you later, Emily. Look who decided to try and hunt me down. work out for you oh I also have a mod installed that distributes uh, armor variants to NPCs so the vigilant get their own version of steel armor Oh yeah, I have, I also have a mod installed that adds the sounds of flies buzzing over bodies. And one that adds in uh, crows. But I'm also using a um, U, uh, UI, over, UI sounds from Dark Souls. Another that adds different uh, combat music. And one that just overall changes the general um, in-game sounds of like the environments and stuff um, sounds of Skyrim it changes what you hear from wildlife dungeons and like inside like uh, city areas and stuff
it also. It also changes the level up sound, I believe. Uh, and of course, all these refugees got mauled to death by the wildlife. Well, not all. That one survived. Yeah, one hit from a lightning bolt and it took you out. And you thought you could intimidate me with a war hammer? Ulfric Stormcloak, the rightful High King. <laughs> what a laugh. <laughs> I also have a mod that overhauls, like, the dialogue from guards, bandits, vampires, and so this is forth. Warcart, traveler. Safest city in the reach. So, as soon as I go through that door, you're saying nobody's going to uh, get attacked. Yes, we should, and we will later. The bloodiest beef in the reach. The <laughs> finest jewel. By the divines, the Forceborn are here in the city. Everyone stay back. The Markor city guard have this all under control. There are no Forceborn here. Damn, another body to get rid of. Gods, a woman attacked right on the street. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? You want to cut a venison Red or A force one? Every piece. Strange. Well, I hope the eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. No. I was just getting some fresh air. Add one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Oh. What happened? Until next time. What do you need? By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. Thank you. Here. I was going to bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. No, I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just oh. visiting here from What's Cyrodiil. Happened? All right, then. Did you see that, madman? A forsworn agent, here in the city. Redguard craftsmanship in every piece. Think he worked down at the smelter. A lot of laborers there are sympathetic to the forsworn. They promise people they'll kill off all the Nords that rule over the Reach. Nothing but murderers and saboteurs. Did you just see that woman getting attacked in front of us? We're closed. This has ruined my entire day. Hmm? You want to cut a venison or mutton? Well, of course you do. He... he tried to kill Margaret. Right in front of me. No. She's such a nice woman. Comes by every day looking for jewelry for her family in Cyrodiil. Is it because she's a noble? Why would anyone want to kill her? It doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I don't think I can bear to sell anything right now. What's happening to this city? We'll handle things from here. Move along. I said move along. The Forsworn are just a bunch of madmen. We have everything under control. Stay up. All right.
right down. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market travel. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the No, sun. I'm not Arn Leaf. Yes, I know it's called Arn Leaf and Sons. Oh, by the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now, this door would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks, especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. No, as if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleif. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. Forsworn attack. I miss that stubborn elf. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Never Someone should have come here. Come on. Let's see. get away. You don't have a chance. Ah! You ready to die today? Huh? Don't get away. Uh -huh. That takes care of that. You come right to me if you find an unwashed floor or a lumpy bed. Let's save that appetite, hmm? 